Welcome, folks, to downtown Atlanta and Mercedes-Benz Stadium, site of this year's Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl and, of course, part of the college football playoff. But this contest is not a regular matchup, a battle of two top tens, two forces colliding, one team leaves here, making a resounding statement, as we'll see the number two team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs. Taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Texas Longhorns. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreet. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Turn it from inside the five. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. The Longhorns offense going to get the chance to start this game off. We'll see if this quarterback can get off to a great start. Kurt, so much for this offense and this whole team really orbits around him. Yes, sir. The de facto Mr. Center of the Universe. It's his world when he's out there. And it's up to him to create and orchestrate the details on the field. His team, his way. Can't wait to see what he does today. Well, the defense coordinator this week, all week, telling us about gap integrity. Not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Ball handed off. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. On this opening possession, they'll face a third down and five. Looking downfield, it's yours. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. On third and short, the offense coordinator has his entire playbook open. You could run it, or you could throw it. Either one's available. They chose to go through the air here, and just not able to hit it. Longhorns will line up to punt it away. He's on to boot it away now. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on return. The Bulldogs offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. If there's one guy in this defensive side, Kirk, who can be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher. Very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket, and also he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out. We see this all over the country now in college football. Defensive backs staying back a little bit deeper, forcing the quarterback to have to throw things in front. I like the decision here by the quarterback because he gets positive yards. It's a good way of staying ahead of the chains. They look to throw it here on second down. Pulls it in. It's Love it. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw. And that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and, of course, Stetson Bennett who won back-to-back -back national championships. And what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. By the back just had no chance there. The defense is all over the draw play to stop him behind the line. Yeah, I don't know if they were tipped off or what, but they weren't fooled at all. You can tell the defense was dialed in, knew exactly what was coming, and made the tackle. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Back to throw. It's Beck. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. Can he reach the end zone? And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Georgia. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown.
So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7 0 to open scoring. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Oh, and he dropped it. Very uncharacteristic play by this wide receiver. Second down. Well, I'm a big fan of the RPO, but it is a dangerous play for the quarterback. you got to make the right decision. On this play, it just seemed like he was a little hesitant, unsure, and it cost him here with an incompletion. He'll hand it off. Spins away from defenders. You bring him down, but he makes the 40-yard line. That's a solid gain. How about the offensive line here? Just a hat on a hat, opening up just enough room for the back to squeeze through there for a nice game. Two backs now flanking the quarterback. On first down, it's play action. Caught over the middle, it's Helm. An explosive play, big game, spotted down near the 37. Well, this is what coaches love to see. Quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. They'll run it here. A sophomore with a strong tackle there. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Important second down play coming up. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Helm. They bring him down quickly. A short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Crucial third down play coming up. Running out. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. They scoop up the ball. It's still a live play here. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks have got to do a better job of having awareness and taking care of the football. Felt like he got the ball away from his body there a little bit, allowing it to be knocked free. He caught a break because one of his own teammates was able to see that and get on top of the ball. And out comes the field goal unit. This is a daunting attempt from 54 yards out. Let's see if he's got the leg. The kick is good. He knocked it right down the middle. Boy, this guy had plenty of leg here, too. Chris, you remember the days when a kick from 50-plus was a major accomplishment? Now these guys knock these out like they're almost automatic. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And here's the return from inside the five. And they've got the returner corralled. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here or the defense come up with a stop? He pulls it in for a big game. In a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Good route running by that receiver on the corner. Was able to make a sharp break and run toward that open hole in the defense. The offense will set up on first and ten. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. 
Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense take. Are they going to run? Maybe play action? Maybe throw the ball downfield? Second down after that run on the previous play. Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. Caught over the middle. It's Bell. Brought down, but the game moves the ball all the way to the plus 42. Well, they knew all week that they would have an opportunity to face a lot of man coverage and a lot of blitzing today. And one way that they felt they could counter that, getting the ball out of the quarterback's hands quickly, and especially on the quick slants for big gains. Georgia setting up with a first and 10 now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. He'll take a deep shot here. And the pass is dropped. Incomplete would have had a huge gain. Took his eye off the ball. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. Now it's second down here. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. And it's complete downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. This offense has become a first down machine, and that's so demoralizing for a defense, especially for those star players who don't sub out as much. But the fourth quarter really starts to wear you out. Georgia now operating in the red zone. Off the RPO, caught to the right. Touchdown, Bulldogs! Strong game by this quarterback. But this guy has a knack for the end zone, doesn't he? That's two touchdowns for this guy today, and I don't know if he's done yet. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good, so the lead now is 11. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. And it's fielded. Returner trying to make something happen. Returner tackled right there. That's when we'll start the drive. The Longhorns offense takes the field. They were fortunate to get points on the last possession because of a long-range field goal. Quarterback will throw it off the one-pass option. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain of that play. Well, they don't pick up the first down here, but if you can use the quick passing game to stay ahead of the chains, it definitely helps your offense. And if that defense starts to creep up to take that away, that's when you can take a shot downfield. Second down after that previous play. Play action fake, looking to throw. Short connection to the tight end here. Longhorns moving quickly down the field here. Well, the defense loads up to show blitz, and anytime they bring that kind of pressure, the quarterback knows he's got to be able to get the ball out of his hands quickly. Nice job of locating the tight end for that first down. A completion good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. The pre-snap motion from the offense. behind the line. It's more. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. How about this defense? And that is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. Offense getting set. Second down play here. A handoff from the shotgun. They bring him down to the 38, but that's good enough for a first down. Chris, what I love here is just the vision by the running back. Showing great patience, the hole opens up, and then he's able to use his speed to pick up some good yards. The Longhorns are looking to keep this drive going. 
On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Defense is coming after him. They've got him. It's a sack for the defense. Boy, what an incredible push by this defensive line. And if you're going to survive in the SEC, the teams that really separate themselves are the teams that have great defensive linemen, especially in the interior. And Georgia has had an incredible legacy over the years. And it's nice to see that this player right here is trying to live up to that. Second and long for this offense after the sack. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Grab down the middle. It's Hill. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. This is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and the linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Makes a spectacular diving catch. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. Chris, when that quarterback threw that football, I didn't think that play had much of a chance. How about the effort by this wide receiver to lay out and come up with that completion for positive yards? Longhorns have first and ten here. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Off the play fake on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Bolden. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Well, this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. Getting set. Here's second down. Play action fake, looking to throw. And he finds his tight end for the catch. Good enough for first down yardage. And there's the tight end who shows off his hand. Fresh set of downs for the offense, first down. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. in the backfield. It's Golden. The defense drops him for a loss. He went backwards there. A second down behind the sticks now. The offense behind the six off schedule there after the first down play. To throw. It's yours. Looks left and finds his target there. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. Solid performance so far, creating some separation. Here's the first quarter stats. As we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. Looking to throw again. Let's it go. Pass caught. Can he get in? And he will score. Touchdown, Texas. Kirk, they were backed up to start the drive, but some bold play calling, great execution, and they reached the end zone. You know, it's easy to just kind of pull your horns in and get conservative when you're pushed way back close to your own goal line, but not this offense. They came out, showed the confidence that they have in their quarterback, and it paid off. Nice touchdown. They're set now to try the PAT. The extra point is good, and they draw within four at 14 10. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Bringing it out, it's Bell. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. 
Each offense has been clicking, scoring touchdowns in their last possessions. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Man heads out of bounds after a decent game. You know, the good thing about this play is it's not an explosive play, but it really gives you a chance now to be able to pick up a first down here on this next play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Looks like Georgia will have the first down. Chris, a really good job here by this back to be able to find that hole and pick up the yards for this first down. And boy, Georgia's had some good backs over the years, and this young man is living up to that tradition today. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? And now the running back's got it again. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. That run picks up first down yardage, a fresh set of downs for this offense. Little eye candy here from the offense, some pre-snap motion. an RPO. The quarterback gets it out quickly. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Back to pass. It's back. Let's it go quickly. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. Tackle made after a big game. How many first downs is that on this drive? This defense allows one or two more drives like this, and they're going to be gassed by the third quarter. Georgia getting set for the first and ten now. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. And here's the handoff. It's a two-yard game. Second and eight coming up. now from the tight end off the play fake looking to throw the football couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away so here we go third down in the red zone the kind of play that decides football games Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And it's incomplete, targeting a man right near the goal line. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit onto the field. It'll be a 26-yard attempt, should be automatic. Knocks that one right down the middle. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Looks like he'll try to make a play with the return. And the returner brought down by the coverage team there. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. The last drive, the passing game, very effective. Moved them right down the field. Can the defense make adjustments? And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game.
Offense getting set. It's second down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Longhorns keep the football on the move. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. New set of downs for the offense, first and ten. Trying to find some room. It's blue. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. They don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. Chris, you know, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively, but I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. To throw, it's yours. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the football there on third down. I see what the quarterback's trying to do here. He's holding on to that football to the last possible second to give that play a chance. But he held it just a little bit too long. And the defense is able to hit him to force that incompletion. The Longhorns will send the punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they moved it, but settled for a chip shot. So sort of an unsatisfying result. Looking to do more here. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play. They're in position to bring him down for a loss. Here's the second down play. And they'll run it with the draw play. And he's brought down after a short game does not make the first down yardage. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. Great call here going with that nickel defense. Giving you more speed on the field in that third down and long. Nowhere to go. Gave the defense a line. Plenty of time to come up with that sack. And now it's fourth down and long. Bulldogs will line up to boot it away. And this drive moves backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. Quick throw to the left. Has his caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. Chris, what a play here by this receiver for a big game for Texas. And you think back over the years with Texas going back decades, I always think about running backs and, of course, quarterbacks. But there have been some receivers, Roy Williams and Devin DuVernay, guys like that. There have been others. But, man, plays like this, this is what you love to see in kind of creating that new legacy for Texas of having elite receivers. Play action here on first down. Bringing pressure. Well, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. I mean, that's another sack, Chris. I mean, we're just getting started here. First half, and you're already talking about giving up three sacks. You gotta think about changing things up schematically, help that offensive line, and help that poor quarterback before he gets killed. Pass protection, a serious issue. Another sack makes it second and long. Movement here from the tight end. Dropping back, it's yours. 
tight end makes the grab. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. We're going to throw it on third and very long. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Touchdown, Longhorns. This quarterback on fire today. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. set up with a PAT. And he knocks it right through. Now they get set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bell. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Here's the handoff. It's good for a three-yard gain, so second and seven. You know, in that era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. Looking downfield, it's back. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. And the game just good enough for a first down. Well, that's exactly how you dice up in zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down, and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. Georgia setting up for the first and 10 now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Who makes the grab? Tackle is finally made, but the offense will set up now at the 44. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And you know, being able to have a balanced attack is so important in modern college football, and Georgia does that as well as anybody. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. The shotgun handoff here. Brought down after picking up five yards, so second and five. Great offenses are able to stay ahead of the chains, and runs like that on first down are exactly what I'm talking about. Now you have a lot that you can call here on this second down. The game makes it second and medium. Tight end goes in motion before the snap. Second down, we're going to throw it. Running back has it on a screen now. And they wrap him up, but the game is good enough for a first down. Boy, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback, and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. The drive stays alive with that first down completion. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. 
That's reeled in. It's Bell. Tackle quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the marker. The quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the track route and gets some positive yards. That completion makes it second and medium. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, this is great execution here on this screen play to the running back to pick up big yards in a first down. I think in a process, Chris, they send a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Here's a screen pass to the running back. Brought down at the three after the completion. The offense really threatening now. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch. Gets the first down in the process. The dogs will line up here on first down and goal. To the air. It's back. The pocket break. And now the ball comes out. A disastrous play from the start. Defense recovers the fumble. It's a turnover. I think that's on the quarterback and the offensive line. They were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there, and they were able to knock it loose. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They scored a touchdown on their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Oh, can you believe it? He dropped the ball. Don't see that often from this excellent receiver. He's going to bring up second down. Well, that's everything you want to see from an offense. Great execution. The line gave the quarterback time. Quarterback makes a great read, throws it to his guy, and the receiver drops it. Now he's going to have to shake that off and get ready to make that next play. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. And this pass is caught. Goes down after making the grab, picks up a few yards, but it's short for the first down marker. The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. It's like one more play here before halftime. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. And that ball is incomplete as time runs out on the first half of play. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to start the second half. Longhorns will kick this away to get the second half going. Bring it out. It's Bell. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. First play of the drive. They look to the right. They bring him down, but he reaches the 30-yard line. Here the defense was committed to stop the run. In an RPO, that's a dangerous thing to do. The quarterback sensed that and just pulled the ball out, got it out to the right flat for some good yards. That's an important first down on that running play. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. They tackle him right at the 35-yard line. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards here on first and 10. Second down play coming up for this offense. Here comes the reverse. And the soft were able to bring him down quickly. You know, even though positive yards are gained here, I think the defense has to be happy on how they prepared coming into the game for these kind of different looks. 
They look very aware that these formations and plays could happen on any given down. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. Looking to pass. It's back. And he's got his man open downfield. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback. And especially on third down, get him the ball. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the wideout goes in motion. Fakes the handoff. Looking to throw. Looking for his big tight end. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. So often we get caught up in the quarterback and what. And the replay booth has signaled they want to stop and have another look at this one. Looks like they got the ruling on the field right the first time. They confirm it with the review. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Fires it. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. The Dogs looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. From the shotgun, drops back. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived at the same time as the football. And now it's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here... He's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Coming up, second down and goal. He's got it right near the end zone. Touchdown, dogs! They go in front here in the second half. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT makes it a seven-point lead. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And the coverage team able to bring him down. The Longhorns offense takes the field. On first down, it's play action. Grab behind the line, it's Helm. Even surrounds him, just a short gain on that completion. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Longhorns will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. up here trying to make something happen on third and long dropping back it's yours throws it to the right he's got it for a big game they've got him but not before he makes a first down at the 41 this is a big conversion by this offense they're down now in the second half 
probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. The Longhorns starting a new series here on first and ten. Caught behind the line. It's golden. Nowhere to run. They'll corral him for no game. Well, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that catch. Offense operating at high tempo now. No huddle. Receiver in motion now. Grab behind the line. It's Helm. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Look at it, chuck it again. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Longhorns will line up to punt it away. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. He hands it off from the gun. They bring him down at the 45 at a solid gain to keep this drive going. You know, all week the defensive coordinator told us about the quarterback, he told us about the receivers and how they're going to throw the football. But man, they better get locked in on stopping this run game because that was a big time game. One play moves the ball to the 45. It'll be first down. On the run, it's ETN. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid game here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. And shows off the juking ability, but not much room to run. It's a short game. Well, I feel like they called that knowing. Chances are they're not going to hit a home run, but look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Receivers are bunched together. Scanning the field. It's back. Running back grabs it on a screen. Unleashes the stiff arm. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. you got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. Tight end goes in motion. Caught in the backfield. It's Lovett. It. It'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. I love the call here with the wide receiver screen. But where's he going to go? The blockers do not do their job and open up any running lanes at all. Second down play coming up. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Makes a quick grab. He's brought down quickly as short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. you take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. Out of the gun now on third down. 
Makes the grab. It's Jones. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. He connected with his first attempt. This one is from 37 yards out. And the field goal is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's golden. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Fighting off the defender. Solid run moves the ball out across the 20 to the 21. Man, that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in and stretches this defense out wide, it can create some vertical seams for big plays. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Grab behind the line. It's golden. They get him, but what a spin move. That's one for the highlight reel. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. Catch is made. Room to run here. Tackle is finally made, but it's a huge game all the way to the 48-yard line. But what a play here by this receiver for a big game for Texas. And, Chris, I think back all the years of Texas football, going way back, and they've had some good receivers. And Roy Williams comes to mind, Devin Duvernay more recently in the slot. But, man, they really need to start a new legacy. And maybe plays like this can get them going in a new direction. Quick throw, the catch is made. Finding some room with the 25. That's a big game. The offense is threatening now. Spot the ball at the 22. Chris, all week they heard about how fast this guy is. The defense coordinator told them they watched the film. They've seen this guy a lot. But I think the reality of seeing it now in person, I think it surprised them. They've got to make some adjustments to their defense. Or this guy and his speed will continue to have a field day. Off the play fake on first down. On the junior, gets home making a sack there. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. So this offense faces a second and 15. The O-line needs to regroup. And now they'll run it on the draw. And the defense able to hold him there to a short game. Third down. This offense can really use a conversion here. Down multiple scores. To the air. It's yours. He'll throw it now. Receiver makes the grab. And he's wrapped up short of the marker there as the time runs down here in the third quarter. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. Sitting in pretty good position as we wrap up the third quarter. Let's check out the game stats so far. Quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. 
He knocks this one right through. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. This game just got tighter. The temptation might be to sit on this lead, but we'll see how aggressive they get. On first and 10, looking to throw. Looking to set up a screen pass here. We're finally able to stop him, but the defense is fooled a bit on that screen play. It's a solid game for a first down. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. On the run, it's ETN. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Makes the grab. It's Smith. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yard yet. The slant is a great way to get the ball to your receiver against man coverage, especially if you feel like you've got an advantage on the matchup. Easy throw and completion for the quarterback and receiver. Third down play for this offense. Back to pass. It's back. Quick throw to his receiver. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. Well, the defense gets these guys to third down. They got a chance to get them off the field, and instead, they give up the first down. So the clock will continue to move, and the defense is really at the mercy of this offense at this point. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has a handoff. No way to run up the middle. It was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fix, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. The offense has done well to cheese some clock here. Now they'll come up on second down. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Off play action, he's looking to throw. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And they score, but there is a penalty marker on the field. Let's find out if this one's going to count. Well, that one is going to sting. Take the crucial touchdown off the board. They'll be backed up and have to try it again. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Nice run. He's brought down to the 44. Chris, at least there's some positive yards there from this run game. It hasn't been pretty today. It's really, to me, kept them out of finding any kind of offensive rhythm. Now, they have the lead, but it's despite this offense not necessarily having their best day. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Hey, I understand the aggressive approach here on third down and long, trying to pick up the first down, but look at the scoreboard. You've got the lead in the fourth quarter. Smart play would have been to keep running the football, work the clock, force them to use their timeouts. Now at fourth down and long with the lead, tough decision here. I think you got to punt it away. And the fair catch, signal four and take it. The Longhorns offense takes the field. Last possession produced a field goal. No doubt they're thinking touchdown this time. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Boy, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. 
Went backwards on first down, so it's second and long here from the 10. They'll keep it on the ground with the draw play. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? He's running out of time here. Gets the ball off as he is hit, but it's incomplete. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. The Longhorns will bring their punt team onto the field. And they'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And the returner decides to single fair catch. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. And off here from the shotgun. They've got him after a seven-yard game, so second and three. That's exactly how you want to start this drive, working with the lead in the fourth quarter. Take as much time off this clock as possible. That's a great way to get this drive started. Second down after that run on the previous play. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Tackle made after just a short game. Crucial third down play coming up after that run. Try and muscle for the first down. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. This offense getting closer to the red zone. And that's going to be a first down. And, and really, Chris, kind of surprised here in the fourth quarter not to see this defense dial up some pressure. They're just sitting back in the base making it relatively easy for the offense to pick up a first down on the ground. Georgia getting set with a first and 10 now. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Looking to pass this time. Caught behind the line. It's Lovett. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try it five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Here's a quick throw off the play fake. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. But defending this guy, you need more than one defender. You really got to stress rallying to the football because this guy can make people miss. The Bulldogs trying to cash in here in the red zone. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up fourth down. First down would have been nice here, Chris. Now it brings up a fourth down and an interesting decision. You go the conventional route, kick the field goal, go up by a couple possessions, or do you get aggressive and go for it? So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. This one is right through, and they add to their lead. Snap, hold the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Return starts from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. The sure hands. It's golden. 
an effective play, good for a first down of the 35. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Have been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. It's a first and 10 play coming up for the offense. Dropping back, it's yours. This is the receiver, incomplete. Chris, I think the pressure is taking a toll on this quarterback. You can just tell the pass rush is affecting his progressions and his willingness to throw it away. So, second down after the incompletion. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Makes the catch downfield. An explosive play and moves the ball across midfield to spot it at the 38. And a lot of times college quarterbacks are more comfortable working to the outside. Here's an example of a quarterback with a full field read and he hits a big play in the middle. The Longhorns will hustle to the line to run the hurry up offense. They'll run it out of the shotgun. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. Well, this quarterback and his receivers have got to get on the same page. They've got to find a rhythm if they want to move the ball down the field. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And he'll drop back here on third down. Looking for the wide out. It's caught downfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. I'd love to see this team fighting the way they are. Picking up a first down on that third down shows you they still believe. They still think they got a shot to come back and compete in this game. Longhorns are going to cash in here in the red zone. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Grab behind the line. It's Bond. But the play loses yardage. Very tough second down coming up now. You know, what separates good defenses from great defenses is you're going to give up some catches. But what do you do after the offense makes the reception? Are you giving up much space? Are you giving up yards after the catch? Here, just a really good job by this defense. Yeah, they gave up a reception, but right there to make a nice tackle for a loss. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Texas. That's an important score. We've got a one possession game now, Kurt. And it's game on. It's game on, and now it's about this defense coming up with a stop. Everybody in the stadium knows that they're going to run the football and try to milk the clock. So what can your defense do to ensure they don't do that successfully? Here comes the point after attempt. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They settled for three last time. Let's see what they can come up with this drive. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, good job here on this stop. But remember, the ball is inbounds. And the clock keeps moving here late in the game. And you're trailing. It's a defense. Got to start thinking about utilizing those timeouts. You get all three to use. At what point are you going to start putting those into play? After the first down loss, it's second and long from the 17. Play action fake, looking to throw. 
Fires it to the wide out. Catch made a lot of space now. They bring him down, but a big chunky yardage on the play. Well, I think the offense lulled the defense to sleep here. Do you think that they're just working the clock here and running the football? And then they throw and surprise you and get some positive yards downfield just to keep this defense honest. So the clock stops as we head into the final two minutes of play here. This defense needing to step up and make a play now. A new set of downs after that completion. Hand off to the back. A change of direction. Brought down, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 49. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Georgia setting up for the first and 10 now. Same tailback, another carry. And the tackle is made after a four-yard gain, so second and six. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. The game makes it second and medium. Looking for a gap. It's easy in. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Linebackers moving around, trying to confuse the offense. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab near the sticks. It's Smith. He's tackled inside the 35, picks up a first down. But I'll tell you what, this guy's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. And here we are, late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. That's a great example that he's up to. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. And the quarterback just takes a knee. Thank you. 